disclaimer. These are just some of the signs of a sick bird. Not all birds who display these are sick, and not all birds who are sick display these. Always, always consult your vet. And darn it, read real avian publications for more information and more things to look out for. If your bird is sick or injured, please take it to an avian vet. Before we start, make sure to subscribe. Tap the bell to get notified about all new videos. Birds often pretend to be fine when someone is watching nearby, survival instinct. So observe very carefully. Puffed up feathers. Birds fluff up their feathers to keep warm, and also when they relax for sleep and also when sick. A bird who sits puffed up much of the day is likely in trouble. Tail bobbing when breathing. Birds who sit there puffed up, bobbing their tails, may be sick. Not eating their favorite food. Maybe the bird's full, but they need to eat often. So, if after a day the favorite food is untouched, something's likely wrong. Half closed or closed eyes for much of the time. Alert and healthy birds usually have both eyes wide open while awake. If the eyes start closing and it's not because you're scratching his head and inducing pure birdie joy, the bird might be sick. Oh, and be careful. Birds often close one eye and not the other. You may not notice a bird is keeping its farther eye closed sometimes. Sleeping excessively. Like people, Birds who sleep a lot more than usual may be in trouble. Bad posture when at rest. Healthy small parrots usually sit somewhat vertically, not fully horizontally, though it depends on the type. Bad posture from sickness is usually combined with puffed up feathers. Discharge wetness around the nose. It may be hard to see the nose but it's usually at the top of the whitest part of the bill or under the feather line. Watch for moisture and discharge there. An occasional sneeze is okay, but if it stays moist, throwing up, getting undigested or half-digested food stuck to the cage in weird places. This can be mistaken for harmless courtship-related regurgitation. New owners should play it safe and check with a vet. You can eventually learn to tell if it's nausea versus lovey-dovey behavior, but watch very carefully. Poop sticking to the vent feathers. This is apparently a common sign of possible sickness, especially if it keeps happening. Discolored, undigested, or runny poop. Watch for changes in the shape and color of the poop. Runny poop can happen if you've just given your bird a bath or if it just drank lots of water. But those effects only last for about an hour with small birds. Color changes can mean a change in diet. Seed diets usually produce greenish poop, pellets usually produce brown. But off colors or unusual colors are a warning sign. Black is usually a bad sign. The poop should also look well digested. No lumps in it that can be identified as what they used to be. If your bird eats seeds, there should not be whole undigested seeds in the poop. Ragged, poorly preened feathers. A sign the bird isn't feeling up to caring for its feathers, which is a bad sign since feathers are vital to a bird's survival in the wild. Sneezing, especially if it's frequent. Lack of energy. If a normally playful bird doesn't play very much anymore, it may well be sick. Sudden temperament change. A normally mellow bird may get grouchy and nippy, or a rambunctious bird might just get very quiet and mellow. It might just be hormones or a bad feather day, or it could be something else. Weight loss. Dangerous especially to small birds who don't have much in the way of bodily reserves. Most casual bird owners don't weigh their birds very often, 
so it's important to work with a vet to check a bird's weight. Sometimes you can tell by feeling the keel bone, the bone that runs down the center of the bird's chest. If it sticks out like a razor, the bird is starving. In a healthy bird, there's so much flesh on the chest, you can hardly feel the bone. Crooked beak or crooked toenails. Either can be a sign of long-term illness and should be checked out by your vet as soon as possible. In budgies, crusted over nose, cera, and or feet, a possible sign of mites. Talk to your vet about the options. Any sign of blood? Bad sign. If your birdie is bleeding, you need to stop it immediately. Call your vet. If you see one or more of these or anything else odd or weird, don't waste time. Call up your trusted avian vet ASAP. Finally, sometimes the worst happens. Despite the best care and the best vets, birds can and do die. Sometimes it's from careless breeding, sometimes it's pure bad luck or an accident, or maybe it's just time for the bird to pass on. The best thing you can do is to get as informed and educated as possible from more than one source. Remember that keeping your pet happy, well-loved, and mentally occupied is one of the best preventive medicines ever. Watch next. Can I leave my budgies home alone? Or budgie sounds meanings. <laughs>